that in my books, this, what this next film does is it profiles a, a, a project, an expedition, that is truly one of the great journeys. And I say that because I, yesterday, for instance, in that, um, in that uh, uh, what was it called? It was called the, uh, the, the Low Impact Adventure Program at noon. How, how many of you folks managed to see that, that uh, seminar at, at noon yesterday? Can't really see anybody anyway. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, if you did manage to see, if you did manage to attend that seminar yesterday, you would have um, heard people like Dervla Murphy and Tim Cope talking about, you know, the long adventures and um, in relation to, you know, low impact travel and so on. And the people that we get to meet in the next film are, are definitely people who should have been at that. Uh, panel yesterday. However, most people are were not able to be here in Banff because um, they are currently up in the St. Elias range. And I sent them an email uh, yesterday just to tell them that uh, I would be presenting and uh, on their behalf and and to uh, get just ask them if there was anything that they would like me to to pass on. And um, they sent a sat phone email message back. And this, this is from this morning, and I should just read it to you. Uh, it says, Hi, Steve. We're actually nearing the end of two months on the Malaspina Glacier near Icy Bay on the Lost Coast, revisiting one of the most amazing and difficult sections of our Wild Coast journey with our two young kids. While you're watching, we might be exploring up an unmapped river, walking into a driving snowstorm, or cooking pancakes with the kids on ultralight titanium stove. Anyway, you're gonna get a chance to meet these folks. A few things I just wanna tell you about this, uh, about this is that, um, you know, for me, the unique spirit of this couple and their minimalist approach allowed them to travel through the dynamic landscape uh, in a way that was kind of completely unencumbered. And, uh, and yet, you know, if you go into these wilderness areas unencumbered, it, it means that you have to be prepared to travel with maximum discomfort. And I, I think that's, that's something that we definitely have to say about this film when it comes through. The hardship they encountered is reflected in their raw and unpolished camera work. But is re what is remarkable is that there's scarcely a word of complaint between this, of complaint between this quirky and unassuming couple. The producer, Greg Cheney, um, is in attendance and he'll be taking questions after the film. The film's 45 minutes in length and this is its Canadian premiere. This is Journey on the Wild Coast. Doesn't that uh, just uh, redefine Journey? <laughs> Nice, nice to meet you, Greg. Hi. I'm going to be going out to the Malaspina Glacier in a couple days with Higg and Aaron, and I just wanted to get everyone just say hello. <laughs> All right. Are you filming right now? <laughs> I might be. This is Paulina Core. Hi, you guys. You're, you're amazing. I hear you're at the Malaspina Glacier with two kids. You're hardcore. And uh, loved your film, loved your journey, and keep up the good work. Without thinking of what they were doing. <laughs> Why? This is not necessarily the way to make a good film. It certainly brought an authenticity and simplicity that moved the jury. More than extreme winter adventure film, this film celebrates the ultimate life adventure. Love. The special jury mention goes to Journey to the Wild Coast, produced by Greg Cheney. It doesn't really look like you. Hello, bear. Oh, it's our first spring bear. You take this. No, you can do it. Yeah, I can Fine. do it. Stay away. We're not any food for you. You don't want to do this. All right.
this, uh, I'm not used to this. <laughs> Hank and Aaron are um, at the Malaspina Glacier right now with their two young children. Uh, one is eight months old and one is two and a half. And so I'm going to be joining them in a few uh, days. And uh, hopefully we'll make another movie about uh, family life in the, in the wilderness. And um, I just like everyone, uh, I, I turned the camera on uh, when I heard about this so that they can hear uh, the joy in the room. So if everyone could say hi to Higginair, I'd really appreciate it.